a pendulum domination. Uh, well, it's not pendulum domination. What am I saying? It's pendulum evolution. Pendulum evolution leaks. Um, Vexcus already talked about this, and I want to just reiterate that this is a very good set uh, for if you're if you're an enthusiast of pendulum of the pendulum mechanic. This is going to be a very good set for you to buy into, um, and it's also really good for for other reasons as well. If you're wanting to like make money off of this set. Um, so basically, what I'm trying to say is that you should probably pick up a pick up, I would I would pick up a couple of boxes of this if I had the money to do so. Um, but I would pick up like Zephyr or uh, Z the Zephyr Star the Zephyr cards that are in here because they're getting reprints. And then that's actually something something I wanted to talk about. There's actually a lot of cards that I would that wasn't expecting to, to see even reprints of in this set. Uh, for example. Uh, we were the, the, we had no inclination that Cleefort Scout or Cleefort Monolith, Monolith was even going to be considered as a reprint. But since they made this they made the set from a structure deck into a booster set, it kind of adds for for more reprints to be had. And I kind of think that was their idea because they were kind of behind on some of the reprints of certain cards. For example, Monolith hasn't been reprinted in a couple of years. Uh, so it's kind of interesting. We'll see how it, how it plays out. Um, but the reason why I think you should pick this up is because uh, Ze uh, Oracle Zephyr, Zephyr Divine Strike, uh, the, the Metaphos, some of the Metaphos cards are in here, like uh, Bismagir, uh, Crimson Eye, Orichalc, Adamant, and Counter are in here as Hollows, which is really different, which is really interesting, and I kind of want to pick up the set because I like Metaphos. Um, Cleaver Scout, Cleaver Monolith, and there are quite a number of other reprints. Uh, so we're gonna get into those as well. Um, like meteor burst, or like Otto's meteor burst strike is pretty good. Uh, I use this like in my in my cipher deck as like a kind of like a miniature Utopia Lightning. Uh, it was pretty good. It's not the best level. It's not the best for level seven you can go in in, in the cipher In fact, it's not the best level seven in the game. Uh, there are a lot, but there are a lot better options. But that's what I used it for because it, it turn, and it turned out to be really good. Uh, Pendulum Call is in here as a super rare, which is which is really insane. Uh, Otis Fusion, Dragon's Mirror, which is actually decent. Um, Summoner's Art is pretty good. Pendulum Born, uh, Unwavering Bond, which is a card that people have, uh, people have hyped up before uh, when it was first announced. They people people said it would be kind of similar to Wavering Eyes, but it just never went to, it went to that that route. Um, the Zephyr cards are in here, obviously. Uh, particularly this the, the Ying Zing stuff is really good. Um, so if you if you don't want to play, if you don't want to spend a copious amounts of money on the Ultra, uh, you can you can. I don't, I'm not sure if the Ultra was was, was expensive to begin with, but you can buy it here. Basically, anything from the uh, previous structure deck for for uh, magicians, such as you know, a Pendulum Magician's Dominance structure deck that came out for the, with Skullcrow and Dragon, all that's going to be in here. Uh, except some of it's going to be hollified, like um, Dragon Pulse and Oaf Dragon, which is pretty good. Um, Archbishop Century is going to be in here, which is kind of a staple in almost in most in most decks. Uh, if you're playing a Pendulum deck, it's going to be pretty accessible. Uh, Guiding Ariadne is in here, which is definitely interesting. Um, Rescue Hamster, Magical Abductor, uh, Odd Eyes Vortex Dragon, and Enlightenment Paladin is in the set too. So do if you're a, a pendulum enthusiast, I would definitely and highly recommend that you probably uh, look into this set because it is worth looking into. Um, and you, and, I've, and some, I think you could probably make some of the money off of the supers alone. Um, and some of the ultras are probably going to be really, really powerful, really uh, strong too. Um, the the Xyz is really good, and some of the other cards that have, that have been announced in it are going to be fantastic. So, anyway, guys, tell me what you guys think about this set in the comment section down below. Tell me what you guys think about what they did with this, with the structure deck and turning it into a, to a booster set. I really think that 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 it was actually in the end a decent thing, even though I didn't like it at first. I thought it was going to be. Um, really bad for the game just to make it as make it a set because that means people couldn't get their hands on it, on it as easy but now they can get other cards in it that are um harder to get but they can easily get it for get get accesses to it like i'm not like uh, unlike arch eccentric because it was a common it's, it's been printed in a common instruction decks before but like rescue hamster guiding or around the landing vortex or odd eyes vortex dragon uh, stuff like that it was was Pretty hard for some people to get, but I want. Let me guys. Uh, let me let me know in the comment section below what you guys think about this in the comments. I uh, will see you guys in the next video. This has been Team Metamorphos, and I'll be signing off.